，嫁出去的女儿就像泼出去的水，妇女能顶半边天。Singapore women have made tremendous progress over three generations. Today, young girls grow up in an environment that their grandmothers could not have imagined when they themselves were children. Like in many other societies of the time, women were not highly regarded in pre-independent Singapore. Many parents didn't send their daughters to school. They expected female children to be filial daughters, dutiful wives, and nurturing mothers. There's an old Chinese saying. 嫁出去的女儿就像泼出去的水。Marrying out your daughter is like throwing water out of the house. She leaves home, she's lost to you, and there's no point wasting resources on her. Thus, most women worked in informal jobs or not at all. At the same time, men were allowed to take multiple wives, underscoring women's subordinate position in marriage. My mother. Madam Kwa Geok Chu felt strongly about the unequal treatment of women. In 1959, she made the first and only political speech in her life, and it was on raising the status of women. I quote her: "Women and their families must be protected against unscrupulous husbands who treat their wives as chattels." From the very start, the PAP believed women were the equal half of our society. There's another well-known saying, Chinese saying, "Fu nu neng ding ban bian tian." Women hold up half the sky. And indeed, my father valued the opinions and advice of his life partner in every aspect of his life: bringing up the children, taking care of the family's needs, sizing up people, discussing issues of the day. He loved and respected my mother. She was always his wise confidant, his equal. As he said in his eulogy to her, "Without her, I would be a different man, with a different life." Because Mr. Lee and our founding leaders were determined to build a fairer and more equal society, they moved swiftly to protect women's basic rights and interests. In 1961, the PAP government passed the Women's Charter. The charter institutionalized the equal standing of men and women in marriage, and provided for the welfare and protection of women in Singapore. Year after year, the progress continued. Healthcare services for women improved. Family service centres and crisis shelters were set up to support vulnerable women and families in need. The Women's Charter was periodically updated. To keep the institution of the family a strong pillar of our society. Most importantly, we implemented universal education so that both boys and girls could attend school. 关注我们，你想知道的一切新加坡生活资讯都在新加坡眼。